Okay, so in this video, it's probably going to be one of a few videos. Um, we're going to rebuild um, pretty much wrecked, so to speak. So this one, um, what you can see is the left. We've actually started the job, of course. It didn't come like this. Uh, is suffered some sort of catastrophic engine failure uh, to do with the piston. Um, the, the small end had let go uh, and the engine's pretty, pretty bad. But um, but we'll, we'll strip the motor down anyway. Let's see what's in there, what's salvageable. Um, hopefully there's some good tips here. I can't imagine most people would want to rebuild a ZSB. So we'll just go through some of the common things you'll find on an old ZSB. And that'll probably be more used to people who would have probably recommissioned one. Um, so first of all, um, I'm expecting crash damage. Okay, so cl classic crash damage here. Say crash damage. As you see these plates here. Um, these two plates here become um, damaged. And you can see this one's nice and straight, and the foot peg straight. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but this one's not. So I'll try and hold it straight. You can see it's bent, so that needs to be straight, straightened back in. Um, also, this uh, the stand doesn't seem to be quite at the right angle now. Whether it's been rewelded, um, you can see that this angle here compared to the other bike. You can make that out is very different. So, um, so uh, I'll have to have a look at that, and see what's going on there. Um, what else I'm expecting? Okay, so just other things on the frame. So there's very little damage to the frame as well. The frame seems pretty clean. Um, I might just need the paint touching up. I was expecting to strip the frame and having to repaint it, but I don't think it's that bad actually. So. Um, normally around the swinging arm suffers badly and, and it, it doesn't seem too bad at all so the only ancillaries and brackets need painting but I think the main frame's pretty good so okay the forks seem okay um, there's a bit of corrosion on them up here um, I'm hoping they're going to polish up and be usable I don't want to be buying a set of forks um, the bike's got reasonable tyres on it and a new front on and the back seems about a third worn if that so uh, tyres are good okay, so from the depths of the garage we've got the tank um which looks pretty tatty someone's had a very poor job of trying to respray it there's paint spray everywhere and um, looking inside you can see it's a little bit grotty but it's mostly greasy and mucky it doesn't seem that um corroded and there's no dents in it which is fantastic because of course said the speed tanks are just always get dented very very easily the bike's dropped so excellent so happy with the tank I'm just going to leave that to soak in something, try and get rid of the rust out of it, give it a good flush out. Um, of course, it'll need to be resprayed, but there you go. Um, I'm happy with the tank. The tank looks good. In another corner of the garage, we've got um, that's basically a ZSV in that box. <laughs> um, a lot of the stuff we've checked in there, uh, the carb seems good, the calipers seem okay. So that's all good. I'm really happy with that. So um, that just basically just needs to be gone through and cleaned up, all them parts. Um, right, okay, now the worst bit on the bench. Let's have a look at the motor. Right, oh, yeah, a real good go stripping the engine. So, um, starting at the top, right, the head. The head seemed pretty good um, and usable. There was a bolt sheared off in it, which I managed to get out. So, that was a save there. Uh, and now, started on the bottom end to make the bottom end. So, the, um, I don't know whether the rod is usable. Um, Good jump pin certainly is not, um, but the bottom end of the engine is looking excellent. Um, I'm looking at this, the clutch seems good. There was hardly anything in the bottom. And you can see that little bit of nonsense there. There's a little bit of debris here, a little tiny bit here. That's all that was round on the clutch side of the engine. So I'm expecting most of the bits of the piston to be internally inside the crankcase. So the crankcase will have to be split in half. So I'm a bit held up really at the moment by these pegs nuts here. So um, just here's, here's a little tip. If you come to replace the clutch plates, you need a peg spanner because the centrifugal filter um, stops you taking the uh, pressure plate off the clutch. So if you do um, think about replacing your clutch, um, you're probably going to need this peg spanner here. By the way, the filters and the little oil filter will rid it to keep. Super impressed by this little engine. L little tiny cute um, hydro chain. Um, Balance, um, the balance shaft gears are helically cut, really nicely made, and the primary gear is beautifully made. 
Oh, lovely little fine gear. I'm really, really uh, quite impressed by that, actually, to be honest. Um, there's quite a lot of gears in this engine, so you can see the crankshaft here and uh, the primary drive gear. Uh, and this is the balance shaft gears. They seem really good, and the old pump course runs off this little chain. Um, but what's a little, also unusual here um, is the kickstart shaft, and you just about see the, the gear on the inside of the kick shaft. On the kick, kick, uh, kickstart shaft looks really well, but it's not on the primary gear. Yeah, it's a little bit unusual, so it must be internal. Um, and you can see the gear change mechanism there, little hexagon or pentagram, pentagram, is that right? Um, five speed. So it's quite nicely made, little um, detent. It's beautifully made. Um, I think this is a, an oil passage um, for the head that comes up here and out here at the top. Um, very clever. There's the oil pump, of course. You can see the passage in the oil into this other way. Beautifully made. Um, here's the wiring room. Um, it's a tiny bit hacked up. Um, some ones fit to the LED headlamp rather badly, so um, we'll have to sort that out. Um, the switch gear is a bit beaten up. Uh, we'll just do something about that, I think. But uh, apart from that, the loom is okay, not too badly hacked up. Uh, looks all right. right. So to sum up, um, we'll all go here. Um, whether the engine's going to be saveable, I don't know. Um, maybe we get another engine, just put it in and rebuild that engine at leisure. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But uh, at, this, at this present time, I think the bike's probably uh, saveable. Yeah, I'm not going to make any money on it, but that's not the point.